Hello everybody, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon. Oh, we got some some good items in here. Alright, alright. Plus one bullets, amazing. Just like straight up awesome damage up. Fat bullets, really good item with a minor downside. Or a gunny, really, really good gun. And then we got a couple other, uh, you know, me medium style ones. We'll pick them all up, except I guess we're going to leave angry bullets. Alright. Well, hell yeah, we got all kinds of stuff. We're going to be working on getting the convicts past completed. We did in the last episode. We got uh, we got the paradox unlocked and a whole bunch of other stuff. We got the lead god out of the way. Now we don't have to worry about it. We went to the secret floors, the whole shebang. All right. Here we go. Back into the gungeon. Convict. Of all the, uh, of all the base characters, honestly, of all the characters... Maybe, like, uh, the least strong, uh, in my opinion, over the course of time. You may get some extra mileage out of this character uh, early-ish on. With the fact that, you know, like, when you get hit, you do do extra damage. You do a lot of extra damage for a little bit. Maybe you can get some use out of that. Kind of like in situations where you get hit, you can maybe be like, Alright, well, I can use this, this rage to at least clear out the thing that I don't really know too much how to deal with quick. So like maybe as a newer newer player, you might get some more, maybe a little more value out of the character. It does also start with a space bar item, which can be of good use. It's actually like a pretty nice one. Like as far as starting, starting items go, it's not bad. But it's also like not better than most space bar items. So it's probably gonna get thrown away at some point. And then, you know, other than that, like, what she really got? What she really got? Get rid of all of those. It's like sawed off is kind of nice, I guess. It's it's like it's nice for the first floor, or so so you don't have to use your standard. But her standard is like already like it's not even too too bad compared to some of the other ones. So there's no water barrel in here either. What is going on? Is that something that you only unlock after going like a certain amount of times or something like that? Because, uh, it's weird, yeah, there's not one in there. I mean, that's fine. Like, I'd, I'm probably not going to go today. Don't think we need to. Don't think we need all the extra items. Uh, as far as unlocks go, I think we are done with that. I mean, you could argue we could go so that we could get money for the rat key faster. But, anywho, I'll probably, uh, whoop. Pop on down on the second floor. Maybe we'll take a crack and see if... I mean, today, since we won't have the uh, the shield to worry about losing, <laughs> we will go ahead and take the plunge into the elevator shaft and see what it is that we may have to give up. Uh, I don't know that we're going to do it today or not, but we can at least see what it is. Because I think that the first one might just be money. I think the first requirement that he's going to ask of you is just is just to get some some money. Could be the case. Seems logical enough. Might be keys. I don't know. But anyway, there's the trash cannon. Not a great gun. Does have a synergy that is oh like really easy to get with the uh, with junk. Does make it a little bit stronger. But I'd still say it's like it's hardly worth using. It's better with poison immunity. But even with, it's kind of just like a, it's kind of just okay to me. The good reason to have it is if you get the the Star Pew, which is another, whoop, another gun that's already like good on its own. Oh, okay. Give me the ability to steal, please. It's already good on its own, but it gives the uh, Trash Cannon syner uh, Synergy, so it turns into a recycling bin and actually makes it incredibly top tier. Like, incredibly good. So, that's something. Well, hello there. Mailbox is okay. <laughs> like, I mean, honestly, it's our best weapon. Best weapon, I, I, I guess. So do we need to... Um, hold on. There's, I know there's an achievement for killing an enemy while... Or a boss while they're glittery. So we're gonna... We're gonna get that here. In theory. But I don't remember if that has any unlocks tied to it. And also, maybe we'll kill them so fast we don't actually even get it. There, there's there's some glitter. 
It's just one of the versions, I guess it's technically the bad roll, but... Is it really when it's fun to see them all covered in glitter? How can it really be a bad roll? Best roll being, in my opinion, the explosion roll. Explosions just do good damage and they're defensive at the same time. It's just pretty darn slick. I probably, you know, we already know where our secret room is, so I'll just use that blank there to kind of secure the master round there. And he looks like a freaking Christmas tree. All right, I didn't get any unlocks. So, uh, all right, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll open up this, we might as well. Heavy boots are kind of like, eh. They make it so we can't get pushed around. Frost bolts are actually like pretty solid. Whoop. I had a feeling. All right, we'll, we'll go, we'll go. We'll go here with an extra key. And then we are not going to go to the Abbey of the True Gun, though. That That's going to be the compromise we do today. Because just with the situation we had, it seems like it's just a no-brainer to go, right? Double-checking this. Yeah, we out of here. I don't need the shield. I'll, I'd rather save the money for something else later. Rather save it. All right. So the explosion, hold on, the explosion one, I know I'm wasting ammo. The explosion one should do an ice effect, shouldn't it? Because the explosions usually take the property of, uh, like, of frost bullets and poison bullets and stuff like that to leave a little bit of a pool. After them, I'm just trying to see here. Pretty sure that's what actually put out the fire. You can put the fire out with any liquid spreading thing. Oh, well. It didn't do it there, but maybe that's just because it didn't have the frost property. But who are we going to get? Oh, hell yeah. We love it. You know what? I'm just going to pick it up right now to assert the dominance. I'm not going to go, so if I get hit, I get hit. If we take it all the way there, I'll drop it on the darn pedestal just to assert dominance and say I'm, I'm, I'm out. All right. Let's try to see if we can showcase some little value from the tables there you can see like the the it really it does a lot more than it seems like it would do the radius is a lot bigger see like i mean no that would kind of hard to tell yeah can't really showcase it very very well but basically just note there we go yeah see the, the package was indeed frozen and it left a frozen pool freeze is kind of an awful status effect though because it doesn't re doesn't really help you that much Ooh at all and it kind of just hurts you crown of guns is a great soft synergy gun meaning on its own i think it's like eh it's like not very good but if we can get some kind of accuracy boost or remote bullets which i don't think we have unlocked yet uh then it's gonna be kind of kind of banging and I should, I should mention about the ice. I mean, the frost effects on bullets are very, very good. I meant the ice that is left on the ground is the thing that's not very good. Kind of a detriment in some ways. Detrimental. Because look at that. It's just... It looks like heavy boots may actually uh, cancel out ice, which is something I've actually never seen in practice because I so rarely get heavy boots and and ice is actually of all the status effects I think it's the one that you're gonna end up seeing the least chunk all right you can maybe argue um, electricity I guess Bloop. so a lot of these guys can't be poisoned Wow well, well there it goes oh shucks you mean I can't go to the Abbey of the True Gun? There, that was a really good thing. You could, if you wind back to there, you could see how huge the radius of the table actually can be. How you can really, really abuse them sometimes. Basically, like, if there's bullets coming in, you wanna, you wanna flip the darn table. If you can. Let's go get that vampire. It, just in case for some reason, I actually end up dying. One person did note, and I will say, you know, obviously this is an exclusion. You do need, for apparently for an item, I don't know if, you, if it's for an item or if it's just for an achievement, but you do need to, uh, you do need to die. 
<laughs> you do need to die in the past once to get an achievement. I don't know if uh, I don't know if it unlocks an item or not. I'm going for 100% item completion. If that's the case, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It could be literally the last thing we do. For one, that'd be a nice, easy way to to just say like, yeah, technically, technically, I died, but it's was literally required. I'm not too worried about it. It's uh, it's I'm not too worried about semantics. I think it's clear what I'm trying to do. You know, D die no times that I don't have to. Literally, no times that I that aren't required for any kind of an unlock. But as far as achievements go, that are things like drop a certain amount of chandeliers or whatever. We're only going to do things that require us to, uh, that are required for items. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's just going to be a lot more sane to, to track anything that, oh, okay. I'll just do it. So Meat Bun makes you do buku damage, but as soon as you get hit, it goes away. Alright, this is actually awful. I kind of want... I really wish that I had no spacebar items so I could have, like, saved it. Because now this has just immediately gotten very stressful. Do a hell of a lot of damage, but we don't have really any good guns for the situation. Was there a key in here? There must have been, right? There's two. Alright, we're spending a lot of our money. Heavy bullets. Damage up. Bullet speed down. Knock back up. I find them to be kind of, like... They're an okay item to me. There's some runs where it's actually really problematic to have the slow speed or or the increased knockback. Damage up is obviously like a very fun, nice thing to have. But it's a pretty it's a pretty detrimental thing. In some scenarios. That being said, we got it. Really nice damage up today. I feel like we actually wish we had a different gun, and I don't really want to waste money on the carbine, but I will because I think it'll be nice for the boss, and it is pretty darn solid in the fact that you know like, it, it seems like a bad gun kind of in a way, but it's got 600 shots to it. It's really good for just having for room clear and everything. It just it gets the job done, you know. So. Bosses have diminishing returns on status effects like Frost, or in fact, maybe only with Frost. That was a bad situation there. Where, uh, basically, I can freeze him. I can get him frozen a bit, which will slow him down like crazy. However, as soon as he becomes thawed out for the first time, he cannot be frozen ever again. To kind of keep you from being able to, like, completely broken lock down uh, the boss. Bye-bye, boy. Doing all kinds of damage. We got the new Ruby Bracelet. And more importantly, we got the Ruby Carbine Synergy, which actually makes this pretty darn solid. An already okay gun, even more okay. So these shots now, I believe, bounce and set enemies on fire. Just a pretty slick little, uh, little upgrade to an already okay gun. And that one's not too hard to get. I believe that... There's a couple things that do it. I believe that the ruby bracelet is not the only thing. So we are going to jump into the elevator shaft to see if we do or don't need to unlock anything. We do not. However, the man is not here. Did we need to do it in the sewers? I... Maybe we need to unlock him. From the, uh... Whoop. From a cage. I wouldn't be shocked kind of want to roll into somebody come on <laughs> so darn dangerous but uh very fun so yeah we get contact damage immunity which is you know it's handier than uh, than you might think so this guy i feel like uh um i feel like a lot of people have trouble with the lead main i'll uh I, i'm doing so much damage now it's hard to take time to actually showcase some of their moves and having the meat bun on the line is kind of a problem but i'll definitely showcase uh you know, ways to handle certain enemies here and there. That one I feel like being chief among them as new players have the most issues with it. I definitely did. I definitely, definitely did when I was starting out. That one was a doozy. But it's kind of hard to, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to showcase 
how to handle an enemy unless you have them specifically, uh, you know, separated out. And they're the only one. Bullet can. <laughs> I feel like you don't really need any kinds of tips or tricks for handling a bullet can. But it's kind of like all about figuring out when do they stop attacking, when do they start attacking, and where are they trying to aim, you know? So these guys are the more veteran ones. They will try to lead their shot a little bit, meaning that, uh, okay, here we go. So he fires out three, and then he closes, and then they, they take a couple seconds, and then they home in on you. So basically, I mean, this is a really, really easy room to fight him in, so it's kind of be nicer if we were in a different place so basically you just want to get you know far away and then as soon as you uh, they, they find their mark you want to wait and stand still and get ready to do a dodge as soon as they come into you so like you wait wait for them to find their purchase there and then you can just dodge over them because they'll usually come into the into your direction in a huge wave you know like this and you dodge over him like that. See? Not too bad. You, like, really very, very minimal movement. Very minimal movement actually required. All right, I'm just going to blindly throw the 82 in there and not even going to... Not even going to take a look at the other stuff. All right. Mini boss time. I am going to go for it. Just like this. Because if we uh, if we get hit, we get hit. We lose our meat fund. I, and I fully expect it. But we're going to get a lot of value out of it. Blank, you can blank a lot of attacks like that that spawn enemies if you do it while they're in the air. Nice and easy. But yeah, just figured I wanted to take the meat bun and really get some value there while uh, we're fighting an enemy that has no boss damage cap. Alright, this enemy seems spooky, but you can actually literally just stand still. Once they, once they fire, as long as you're far enough away. If you're too close, you can get nicked by it. But as long as you're far enough away, you can actually uh, actually just stand still. Becomes a problem when there's other enemies in the room. But other than that, that's all you gotta do. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You'll find me not even using the, uh, the standstill strat against it very much, because... Uh, I'm an impatient guy. I like to go and go and kill, but do as I say, not as I do. The safer way to handle them is in a situation where you can. You want to stand still. Gun nut. I mean, gun nut's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. He fires, you dodge over it. Or you just circle strafe him enough where it's not even a problem at all. Not a, not a big deal. Ruby Carbine. Whoopa! Whoopa! Tempted to uh, just pop on down to the boss. That was actually kind of a dicey situation there. Didn't want to blank. Because I want to save those for the boss so we can really make sure we're all good on the uh, meat bun and HP up front. We could dodge into this enemy, but I'm feeling a little spooked by that idea all right i will happily do this because this could actually be a key it also could have been a mimic so i should have checked but oh well we actually like haven't run into a mimic yet i wonder if they make them less likely to show up early on gorgon in my opinion the easiest boss on this floor that doesn't mean i'm not going to get hit you can actually just look away from that attack i find the dodging ends up usually being easier. Personally. Man, I'm getting so flushed, but see, you can do that. If that's easier for you, you can do it. He actually almost got hit there. Alright. Bye. Not a problem. Cog of Battle. This is like a, actually a really, really strong run. Is this a slow reload? It, like, it just works really well with this one. We did already find our secret rooms. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a key and donate 52. That's what we're going to do. So from here, there's on every floor, I didn't say, there is a gun chest 
and an item chest. Boom and boom. Uh, so what did we get on this floor? What was the item we got? I believe it was a gun. All right? Nope, it was an item. And villain gets a synergy with heavy bullets, making it even slower and bigger. Very good gun. Very, very good gun. The synergy, I think, is, like, fine. You could argue it makes the gun worse in, in a way because it makes it even even slower. Which I guess is not, you know, it's not normally that slow. But Anyway, we got, oh, that was bad. Anyway, we got a great situation here. Ruby Carbine showing some work. Obviously, we got our meat buns who are doing the buku damage. Excuse me. Aim. So as soon as we get hit, it's going to be a sad day. What do you got for me? You got nothing. Locked room with a unlocked brown chest. I don't know about that, mister. I don't know about that. But yeah, this is a strong as hell run. Shades Revolver. Uh, this one actually gives you a little bit of coolness up, which is a stat that I think is good to talk about. It's a, it's a wild stat. It's, it's hard to really put into words what it's supposed to be, because it kind of does a handful of completely different... Oh, that was a bad dodge. I got lucky. Does a couple completely different things. I'm actually worried about getting hit in this room as I'm trying to explain stuff. Let me get out of it. You know, just just get rid of us. Uh, coolness. I mean, it's it's wild. It the, A big thing it does is it decreases the uh, cooldown. You see right there, we got a little bit of coolness making it so it doesn't, it doesn't quite go uh, empty all the way. So effectively, it reduces our recharge time on our item, which is a big thing it does. It also increases the uh, the chance that you will get items at the end of rooms. So, like, and I'm talking like uh, consumables, like ammo drops, health, things of that nature. All, all them, all of them, it helps you out. Increase, increases the chance of getting those, which is really quite handy. Quite, quite handy. Also increases your chance of like a couple, like random things such as a Vorpal gun, a, a weapon increases the chance that it can get a crit. A critical hit. Here and there, there's just things it can help you out with. Kind of, it's kind of the antithesis of curse, too, because curse does actually work against coolness as far as end of room drops. Whoop, up, up, up. All right. This is actually like pretty killer. I'm so sad that it's definitely going away. Wingman would have been a fun buy. That would have been a great buy. I'm tempted to, and I'm going to, pop on up here. Hold on, can we, like... If that had any kind of accuracy, this run would be crazy OP. It's you again. Okay. This is actually... We're doing some bad dodges here. Because he's... Not quite going where we want, causing some problems. He's not quite going where I want. Yeah, just keep on walking really far away. Only dodging when you need to. Only dodging when you need to. Rocket powered bullets too. Bullet speed up, kind of counteracting the uh, the heavy bullets a bit there. How's that work with this? Yeah, it makes it. It's still pretty. It's pretty fast, huh? Seems like it might counter it out all the way. In addition to obviously giving us a damage up, like I said before when we unlocked it. This run is crazy good. Holy crap! Who needs to unlock any more garbage? We get hit with meat bun. It is back to uh, back to reality, though. That's for sure. But it's a great it's a great item because it, it does. First of all, yes, it does heal you for a heart as well. It's worth mentioning. It does heal you for a heart as you eat it. Uh, but it's it's great because it can help you. It can help you not take a lot of hits because of the theory I've been talking about, where the less time you spend in a room because of your damage being high, the less chance you have of taking 
taking damage, you know? It's, that, it's, it's literally that to a T. It's like, here, let's put that to the test, baby. Prove that you don't need me and I'll help you. Kind of a thing, you know? And I, and I like that. I love that in games. It's like, a, it's like Dark Souls, how you lose your health bar until you prove you don't need it no more. All right. Bop. We did, so we did already get the boss. Yeah, we did. All right. That's way more likely to hit me than anything else here. I'm tempted to just wait and blanket. If, see if we even have to. Do I care to do this? I don't know. I mean, I showcased it last time. It's just like... Do I feel like sacrificing my health? You can do it and you won't lose meat bun, I've been told. And so it's not really about that. It's more just like... I don't really think I... I don't, I don't really care about it right now. If we were going to bullet hell or something, maybe that'd be something. I'm gonna blank here. Just because I don't want to worry about it. We have, you know, we got meat bun. I don't, don't want to mess with anything. Sense of direction. It's, uh, this item, I find it to be only useful in two situations. One, when you get the item ring of triggers, which fires all of your bullets out in a circle when you press the spacebar item, which can happen pretty darn frequently with this, or on runs where you're going to bullet hell the final floor that we don't even have unlocked yet. So all in all, it's a, it's a pretty useless item right now. Waste of a key. Convict can only have one spacebar item, unlike Mr. Pilot. All right. All right. We out of here. And we are going all the way to floor four already. Not bad, not bad. Got some good stuff. Got some good stuff. Unlock the vampire is going to be really, really handy. I love... I love the vampire. Or not the vampire. Not the vampire. Cursula. Sorry. She looks a lot like, like a vampire. And I used to call her the vampire before they, they actually added a vampire. The vampire NPC is another one we will have to unlock, I do believe. I believe it's an unlockable one. I haven't seen it yet. I have not seen it yet. Yeah, no deal. We're running out of this here. Can it... Really? All right. Fair enough. I felt like I was dodging, but I guess I wasn't. Ain't always sunshine and roses. It's okay. We can get we can get hit. We can lose our meat fun. I felt like that wasn't a hit, but I am clearly wrong. It's okay. We can do really crazy damage anyways. In fact, uh, I'm barely noticing the lack of meat fun. Oh, man. This is slick. This is actually working quite well. Despite the fact that we don't even have any accuracy up. Kind of a weird gun because it's, it's dangerous, especially for newer players, if you don't have any accuracy up because you have to, like, what's the clearly the best way to use it? Right up in the enemy's faces. That's when it's going to be at its strongest. So it's a bit dangerous in that way. It does, uh, it, it's got, like, a lot of synergies to it, too. It helps with a lot of good synergies. Gungeon Ant, uh, King Bomber. So the little bomber plus this give, is the one that I was talking about that gives you a whole lot of extra money. Hell of a lot of money. Really, really good. And then also the Gungeon Gun Queen we saw in the last episode. It's, uh, it's, it's really good. It's just really good. Got him. All right. Really looking for that shop. No reason to fight the boss first in most case scenarios, except Meat Bun is kind of one of the few scenarios. And we don't got it no more. Don't have to worry about it. Honestly, like, we got our value out of it. It helped us kill things real quick. Who knows how many uh, how many hits we avoided because we killed things really fast, you know? We didn't get hit while we had it. It's, it's, it's easy to uh, write off the fact that we got hit with it as, oh, that item was useless because we're, we don't still have it. But it's not true. It's not true. Uh, red health, if you get hit, 
you know, it might not mean anything, but if you if you lose a shield, that's a shield you've lost forever. So if we have a bunch of shields, we've got meat fun and we don't take hits, that means that we are preserving those shields for the future. Because if you get hit right away, if you, you know, like, say, the marine starting shield is a good thing. He starts with a shield. Uh, if you never get hit, you know, you, you get to keep that shield for the entire game. You get hit with red health. If you get hit once with red health on the first floor, and then you get you just heal it back up, you know, bada bing, bada bow. You're you're back at full, just like that. Probably should have filled up this. I actually knew for sure that that was going to be a secret room, just because of how how long the little uh, you know protrusion. <laughs> is down there on the bottom. I knew that that meant that this was going to be a secret room. Plus one bullets. Hell yeah. 50% damage up. Something like that. Something, something really high like that. Oh my god. It's the old finish gun. Hell yeah. It's the old finish gun. This actually does go away. If you're not aware. It goes away. After you unlock every gun in the game. Mega Hand is very good. We've got a lot of guns to talk about right now. Alright. Let's do it. Uh, Frost Giant. Very strong gun. The puff of smoke you see can actually freeze enemies. Uh, so you got to be kind of close to enemies to do it. Really strong, but runs out of ammo really quickly. Unfinished gun. It's not much better than a starter. It's got probably better range and lasts kind of a while. Uh, the big thing that it has is piercing. Uh, Mega hand is insanely good. Lasts a long time. Really like a top tier, uh, top tier room clear gun. Pretty good for bosses. Top freaking tier. Room freaking clear. This boss sucks. Want any tips for this boss? Uh, yeah, me too. Kind of like uh, same as the others in a way. Just run really far away. I always have this tip for this phase, which is pretty much just sit in the corner and dodge, dodge towards it in most case scenarios, unless you think you can dodge over to... Two beams at once, two uh, two waves at once is typically how I go. I find this boss to be harder than uh, <laughs> like every other boss in the game, including, in my opinion, including like the Lich. Truly, I think this this boss sucks. All right. I feel like being all the way in the. Really? Really? Being all the way in the corner helps you helps me a lot there. Bonk. One hit, we lost our uh, lost our maz around. It's okay. We don't definitely don't need it. Hazmat suit gives us immunity to uh, you know a couple status effects. Poison, poison fire. I believe it does give us immunity to electricity too, but it's like that is such a rarity that I honestly like it doesn't really matter all right let's go up here we'll bust this chest I believe there's like a small chance you can get a key from it so we will hopefully do that but I doubt it yeah doubt it might as well junk these can get junk and obviously also we get a synergy with the uh, the trash can that was our first junk we picked up makes it a little bit stronger not a lot just a little. Alright. Next up, let's crack out the Mega Hand. Put it to the test with that room clear. The damage should be pretty dang absurd right now. Yeah, okay. Nice, guys. Nice. We actually can just stand here because of heavy boots. This is one of the few things that it can do. It can do. <laughs> but one of the very few things it can do. Other things is like uh, items you can get that do a lot of damage but push you back. You can have it so it doesn't push you back. You know, like Alien Engine is a very dangerous gun normally because it pushes you around like crazy. It can make it still kind of dangerous because it's a, effectively a melee weapon. But it can help you. Thank you for the key. At least we know we don't have to sacrifice everything. Yeah, here. Oh. Obviously, wait till they fire. 
I'm lazy, so sometimes I, I just spray and pray, and sometimes it works. Bonk. Yeah, this is doing ridiculous damage right now. Ridiculous damage. Because of all of our darn bullet modifiers and everything. Kaga Battle is so good if you can uh, if you can get it off. Oops. Oh, hell! I forgot that we had that as a thing now! Oh my god! Our rest is so... I forgot that that could actually start happening. He's a murderer. So, uh, when you see these, don't kill them. Don't kill these. You want to just kill everything else in the room and then wait at the end of the room and then they'll, uh... <laughs> and then they <laughs> they'll uh, teleport to safety. Sound like Javelin. They'll teleport to safety. You do it five times, you'll knock the character. Whoops. We actually can't get value out of, um... Kaga battle with this, which kind of makes it less than amazing. Let's do some Frost Giant. Slow reload. We love a slow reload with the Kaga battle. It just means value. It just, you just know that means value. Because usually things that take a long time to reload do a hell of a lot of damage. You, even increasing that damage even more. And you're cutting the reload time down even more than you would on a, you know, a fast fire rate gun. Not percentage-wise, but by a flat, by a flat amount, you're cutting it down a lot more. Okay, thank you for the key. This is a very tall floor. Very tall. He long. He long. He keep getting longer too. Flap, 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 flap. All right. Wow. Wow. I don't know that I've seen such a tall floor. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. I had to do, I had to do something. All right. We're getting a little feisty here. We do need to get up there. There we go. <laughs> Hello, big boy. Just got to make sure we definitely, definitely get the bullet killer pass. That's like the big thing we want to make sure we do here. Keep our eyes out for the friendly bullets. The cape bullet can. So we don't uh, be a murderer again. It's been a long time. Can you blame me? When's the last time I've had to save a caped bullet can? Been forever. Are, got the immunity of fire. This does actually set you on fire, these little strips. So, good deal. Yeah, this is a, it's a nice, strong gun, but I feel like when you have a lot of damage ups and everything, uh, it's relatively slow in that way. But, like, it, I feel like it doesn't need damage ups to normally be... Ooh. Quite good. Alpha bullets. First bullet of every uh, clip does 60% extra damage. And now it has added effect ice, meaning I believe the first shot is always icy. So that, it can be really, uh, really effective with things that only have one shot in them. We don't really have any. We can get some good value. You would think something like Javelin would be, but it's not. Get some decent value out of it. And villain, plus it. Very little run left for it to really matter. Don't you spawn nothing. Actually, spawn something. I want to see if we can... How much damage we can do. Oh, it's a one-shot bop. Or as one-shot bop as it can get for the Shelaton. It's got to be the Blacksmith coming up. Any moment now. Oops. Rip. Can we just tap shoot? <laughs> it does pretty good damage. That's hilarious. It's, it does... Oh my god, it's got enough power to it. 
Oh, that's amazing. Without even charging it. Oh. <laughs> just embarrass him. We just got to embarrass him like that. Okay. Thank you. Rad gun, we could get it. Honestly, I'm just going to get the... Litchy trigger finger, I think. A little bit of armor. Litchy trigger finger gives you a attack speed up. Can be bad in situations if you have, like, you know, really bad aim. You are just wasting your ammo faster. But all in all, it's usually a very useful item. Usually. All right. Just trying to get as close as I can there. Kind of a dumb choice, I think. I don't like that setup. Blank. You can do it at the right time right there. You can actually break both of those, which is really handy. That being said, we are out of blanks. Not that it matters. There's no way in hell we are even getting to our red health, let alone dying here. Like I said in the past episodes, the chance of me dying here, incredibly minimal. Way, way more likely that I die in the past than I will die here. Way more likely. Bloop. 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 We could, like... A good thing to do is use up all of your clip and then switch to another gun by holding down what's on the keyboard is control. You know, your uh, quick switch, whatever button you have that pulls up that pulls up this menu. Because this actually slows down, down time like crazy. Unless you got something, you know, right here. We could have done that too. But we got the bullet to kill the past. We got all kinds of modifiers. Like an insane amount of modifiers. Let's pop on in. It's like the uh, roll bomb sound. <laughs> All right. Pop ourselves in the face. I, th I think that the convicts is probably one of the easiest ones. So hopefully, hopefully it's not too shabby. We took more damage on the pilots than we did on the Marines. And I said the pilots was one of the easiest. So, what do I know? What do I know? All right. Finally. Boss, they're here. It's the H-Mon. I don't know if, how they got in so fast. Most of the crew are already pinched. You gotta make a break for it. If they take you down, we're all hosed. Don't kill him. What are all these hegemonic goons doing here? Our arrangement has come to an end. How long did you think your little operation was going to last? A little the imperial hegemony of man cannot allow this to continue. An example has to be made. You traitors die, we had a deal, you're dead. I admire your conviction, but we've got this place completely surrounded. Boys, Booker. Citizen, uh, boink. Primary alias, Laser Lily, you are under arrest for collusion, embezzlement, and extortion. You are currently under investigation for tax evasion, armed robbery, credit card fraud, Wanton destruction of property, the illegal sale of arms, aiding and abetting, drug trafficking, smuggling, prohibited substances, grand larceny, and several counts of conspiracy to commit murder with taking you in. They're making sound moves. Flip the desk. You know? Are you okay? That was close one, boss. You better scramble. Can we kill him? He doesn't, he's not like reflecting bullets like a lot of the other NPCs do. All right. Didn't expect they'd hold you for so long. Or for that long. For long. But now that you're resisting arrest, you won't leave this room alive. Let's dance. All right. Get up there. Get up there. He dodged me. The genius. The absolute genius. But then the absolute genius walked into his own Molotov cocktail. So, uh. Really? Can he really be a, a, a genius? 
Once again, he just he walked into his own. He really wants to walk into his own. He doesn't want, want to walk into mine at all. He doesn't... Okay, I blanked that, but I guess the explosion... <laughs> the explosion got me. But yeah, I find this one to be the easiest. I think it has a lot to do with uh, just the, the damage-boosting nature. You take damage, you do extra damage with the Enraging Photo. We unlock the briefcase full of cash, the Enraging Photo. Uh, and briefcase full of cash is just, like, a hell of a lot of money. I think we might have got a third thing that I, that I missed there. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't let me in. All right. We freaking did it. Another pass done. Another pass bites the dust. All right. Let's get a, uh, a refresher on the things we got, just in case there was indeed a third thing. We got three case of cash, raging photo. That is it. That is indeed it. All right. Well. No problemo. We will pop on up here to get a couple more items. Bloop. We'll get the Angry Bullets. We'll get the rest unlocked at the start of the next episode. We got Angry Bullets filled out now, though. Next up, we got ourselves the Hunter. And then I guess maybe we could dabble with a little bit of Paradox action. Get the Gunslinger unlocked super, super early. But that is going to do it for today. Remember to subscribe for more daily Enter the Gungeon videos and plenty of other roguelikes as well. Join the Discord if you need additional help with Enter the Gungeon. Or you just want to talk about it. Or you just want to join the community. Link in the description for that. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.